real life we are often confused about how to use two switches to control one light bulb. For example, a corridor with a long section of stairs. Or when we pass through a narrow, long hallway, we need to turn on the light ahead before entering. And turn off the light behind after exiting. Of course you cannot stretch your hands very long like a rubber person to touch the same switch. Before explaining the control method, we need to understand the internal structure of the switch. There are three wiring terminals inside. Among these three terminals, usually L1 is connected to COM, or L2 is connected to COM, depending on the position of the switch. You can switch them as you wish. Under normal circumstances, the circuit controlling one lamp is like this. You only need to press the switch to connect COM to either L1 or L2, which achieves turning the lamp on or off. When we add a second switch, we begin to feel confused, how should they be connected? The simplest method is to connect L1 of switch 1 to L2 of switch 2, and connect L2 of switch 1 to L1 of switch 2. After completing this step, we can observe the positions where the current can reach. The current from switch 1 has already arrived at switch 2. When pressing switch 2 the current is connected and the lamp will light up. Similarly, regardless of the positions of switch 1 and switch 2, both switch 1 and switch 2 can control the connection and disconnection of the same lamp. Therefore, converting from the circuit diagram to practical application becomes very simple. cover the outer casing, and you can freely control the connection and disconnection of one lamp from different locations.